Today, we're talking about the new dress to impress mystery around the nail salon worker Lana, as well as what this mysterious Roblox game is, where these videos came from, her diaries, and the fact that this isn't the real Lana. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Hey Glossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below, as usual. That is right, Detective Glossy has escaped Bloxburg and she is now in Dress to Impress. I have went full on detective mode and that is because we have some very interesting kind of lore in Dress to Impress that has suddenly emerged that I want to talk about today that you may be familiar with and that is the drama with Lana. And Lana is the Dress to Impress nail salon person, which you'll see in a few moments when we go into the round. Basically, there's loads of like lore and like secrets. It's very confusing, but we're gonna get into it. I am full detective mode today and I'm gonna take you through everything happening. Okay, we've started around. How cute is this outfit though? Like she kinda, she kinda saying. Anyways, let's get started with the interesting, you know, suspicious going ons of the dress to impress nail salon worker Lana. Now you can see a big photo of her up here. The map has just been revamped. They've just had an update. So if everything looks different, that's why. Here we have Lana, the nail tech. She's even got her name on a plaque now. If you didn't know when we had the dress to impress April Fool's update that is when we found out she was called Lana because there was this whole thing with her being upset that no one kind of knows her name and she just sits and does nails all day blah 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 now if you look behind her you can see a very mysterious looking board it has two dress to impress photos and then it has these black and white photos of there's one of Lana and there's two other characters but most importantly we have three missing posters so it says Moto Princess is missing DR Ben official is missing and Sub Misky is missing. I'm hoping I'm saying those right. I'm pretty sure these are like devs, like people that work for the game, by the way. I haven't fully checked. I'm assuming I'll find out in a few minutes when we look deeper into this, but I'm 99% sure these are dressed to impress kind of workers. If we look up here, that's not all because there's actually a book. And hang on, I'm gonna have to like screenshot this and rotate it because it's really hard to angle your camera to read it. Okay, I got a pretty good photo and let me read this out to you guys. So this says, Dear Diary, that isn't me. They replaced the real me with some doppelganger and by the way, doppelganger means like a double, kind of like a twin. That girl sitting in my new desk is not me. I don't know who that is. I don't want to, but that's not me. I'm Lana, she's not, but she's pretending to be me, dot dot dot. I don't know where I am. Gigi is holding me somewhere so I can't escape. Please help me. I'm so scared and I hope that this thing's sitting at my salon chair doesn't harm my image. But I think she's the reason why all these players are going missing, dot dot. So apparently, this girl here, this, this isn't Lana. This is like a fake Lana. Also, by the way, there's like a dress that's like got rips and stitches next to it. It's kind of dark. This whole thing's very strange, okay? And then on the other page, it also says, find me, user ID 57595855595. And this is actually the ID for a Roblox user. So Lana's telling you to find her and she's left this user ID, which when you put it into Roblox takes you to this account here called Lana Does Nails. So this is quite clearly Lana. Her name's Lana. It has the same outfit as she does in Dress to Impress. And there's a bunch of stuff on this account. First of all, she's friends with a bunch of devs. So that's Gigi. She owns the game. So she's friends with some people to do with the Dress to Impress team. She has a creepy looking group, which we'll get into in a second, as well as a really weird looking game, Favorited, and Dress to Impress Favorited, some very spooky badges, and a YouTube channel attached. But before we look into all of that, we are going to look at her about section because it's really interesting. She says, hello, my name is Lana. I work as a nail tech for a popular runway agency. Despite my long hours, I try hard to be the best version of myself I can possibly be, which is very nice, very cute, whatever. But if you click read more and you scroll down, we have this. We have this code here, a bunch of random letters. And you may be wondering, Glossy, what on earth is this? What language is this? Well, it's not actually a language. It's actually something called an affine or affine cipher, which is the name given to a substitution cipher who's key consists of, okay, it's just a bunch of smart stuff. Basically, this is a code. So what it basically is, is that they've changed letters so they mean other letters. It's pretty much just letters put into a different order for like a code. And I have actually managed to work out what this says. And by me, I mean my boyfriend has. I'm gonna be real with you. So this code means, are they listening? Please tell me they aren't. I'm not safe. Sitting on that desk is not the real Lana. I'm the real Lana. Hear me? I'm the real Lana. If you'd all just have said thank you or even a smile at my direction, none of this would have ever happened. 
happened. I can't say I feel remorse for what's about to happen. Whoever runs this runway gig is evil. Everyone behind it is evil. I've been taken away from my regular life and forced to labor, inhaling terrible fumes and acetones every single day, painting these people's nails, and one day I will get my revenge. And wow, is that a lot to unpack. So pretty much what she's saying in this code is what we were talking about. So she was kind of upset that no one was paying attention to her and it's all exploded. Now there's like a fake Lana and she's being held captive somewhere by Gigi, the maker of the game, apparently. It's all crazy, but what we're gonna quickly look at is this group here. So this is called S-A-U-D-A-D-E. I don't know how to pronounce that word, so I'm not gonna try, but it's by the Lana account. And the description reads, my name is Lana, want to work with me, apply here using these rules. Keep answers short and simple, no paragraphs. Are you affiliated with the awakening? Um, are you aware of what will happen to you and your affiliates if you betray us? Describe why your passion is to be a quote unquote nail tech for us. How good are you at hiding generational secrets? Any questions for us? By applying for Sardade, you serve to paint nails and protect Lana at all costs. The shout says applications are due soon, don't be late, apply in the group wall with the rules, all non-applicants will be deleted. So you can actually apply for this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna join the group and we are gonna apply for this quickly just in case something happens, honestly. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Are you affiliated with the awakening? No. Are you aware? Well, yes, I'm aware. Yes. Describe why your passion. I love nail tech. How good are you at hiding generational secrets? Very. Any questions for us? No. So that's our application, but we're basically applying for this. And as you can see, every single time it mentions something to do with the nail tech, it has it in air quotes. So it basically, it doesn't mean what it seems to mean, pretty much. We have Gigi in the group as well, but this is pretty much a thing. This kind of leads me to a dead end. There's not really anything here except for mentioning this whole awakening thing, which seems to be an organization and then having these applications. If we go back to her account, we have this Roblox game, which we're going to look at in a second. But first, we're going to go to the attached YouTube channel, which takes you to this if it'll load, which takes you to this channel here called Lana Does Nails. Obviously, it's Lana. And there is currently two videos on this. They started posting on this two days ago. And the first video is called Awakening.mp4. So I'm going to play it for you. The description is just a bunch of like laughing, by the way. Also, I'll link this all down below, but it's a very glitchy video. And I'm going to read out the text because text shows up at the bottom. It's just kind of hard to read. So it's basically this. And then it says it shows the missing posters. And then it shows this really weird red game. And then it says, how dare you Lana spread our plan? So I'm assuming this thing here is the awakening. It seems to be this group that are attempting to do something. So that's it for that video, basically. That's all it says. But the next one has a lot more text in it, which I'm going to read out. So this one's called three rules. And it says, hello, Lana, this is where you'll be working. There are just three rules. Don't tell them what we did to you. Don't tell them our plans. And lastly, don't try to escape. You know why you're doing this and you know what will happen if you don't comply. Best regards, DR Ben. At the end it says DR Ben, and you may wonder where we recognize that name from, and that is on the missing posters over here. Can you see there, DR Ben official? So I think it's time we have a little look into who this is. So if we type this name into Roblox, I'm assuming it's a Roblox username, it takes us here. Oh my gosh, yes it is. So we have DR Ben official, and they are the lead developer for Dress to Impress. I'm not seeing anything suspicious like on their kind of account, so I don't think they actually have anything on their account but pretty much they're involved in this somehow they even have the badges for the game we're about to look at that's attached to lana's account but dr ben seems to be part of this whole awakening group or whatever is threatening lana now finally we are going to go into lana's creation and you can see this game titled forest that was in the favorites the profile of it is like a distorted image of lana if we go into it it has another image here which says my name is lana and life is unfair okay and then the description reads serene atmosphere view the truth of my story it has a bunch of badges and we are gonna play this. I actually haven't looked into this, so I genuinely don't know what to expect here. Oh my goodness, what is this thing? Oh, okay. So we're in some sort of dark forest and I'm really hoping there's not jump scares in this or I might cry, but we have like Lana's avatar floating in red. There's a bridge and there's like water. There's like a dark picture of her. It's like this really creepy world and there's, oh my gosh, look at all the words. There's like loads of text on screen. I saw doppelganger. Will you find me innocent? So, oh my goodness. 
there. So this seems to be where she's trapped, I think. It's really hard to see, honestly. There's just figures and red everywhere. We're walking down this big kind of path. I'm assuming I'm going in the right direction. This took a turn. I wasn't expecting it to get this dark this quickly. Um, guys, I'm genuinely scared. Okay, um, we're gonna walk down this and I'm just gonna see where it takes us. We're walking very slowly. Everyone's following behind me. Oh wait, there's text. While she is okay now, all the medical bills and pain left her, her family in debt forever. Oh my god, this is wild. I'm gonna be real. This is wild. This is wilder than any Bloxburg lore I've seen. Oh, there's something over here. It's like a- is that a mini game lobby type thing? So four people need to stand on it and then you go down. What is this? Okay, there's a big brick wall. But yeah, it says like awakening on the screen, locked, trapped, find me. Oh my gosh, so there's this thing and I think you have to have like four people- okay, someone just pushed me off. Four people standing on each circle and then whatever- oh my gosh, it's shaking. It's taking us underground. What is this? Okay, my screen's like frozen. I'm assuming- oh my gosh, we're being teleported to a maze. <gasps> and now we're in a maze with a red ball. Okay, this was just gonna be a short information video. Oh, there's a map. Follow the paintings, hide from the doppelgangers in the bushes. Oh my gosh, this is like an actual horror game. Don't even. Okay, so now we have to go through a maze and hide in the bushes when we see doppelgangers. Oh my gosh, guys, it's getting really dark. I can't see. But we're just gonna follow this person who seems to know like what direction to go in. I think, yeah, one of the doppelgangers is like following behind us. Okay, he's going this way. I'm just running, honestly. I'm sprinting. Okay, I've lost the person that was leading us. We're just gonna keep going because I am i don't want to get caught by the scary things. Um, There's a painting here. Oh my goodness, this is dark. This is actually really scary. I'm not even making this up. This is freaking me out. I hate horror games. Which way do I go? This way? Okay, wait, there's another painting. Okay, I feel like I'm going in a circle. I genuinely can barely see the screen. This is so spooky. Where's the next one? This video has taken such a turn. I did not expect it to like continue like this. Okay, this way. I pray. I really hope no one's trying to use this video as a tutorial, honestly. The stairs. <gasps> what is this? I got... I finished- oh my gosh, I finished the maze. <gasps> wait, is there a lift? Is this a door? Okay, wait, we're being teleported again, I think. Oh my- what is this? So you've managed to escape, dot dot dot. This is not the end. You are not safe. Oh, okay, thanks. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is binary code. This is like computer code. Wait, I need to screenshot this. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. Is it doing the same thing over and over again? No, it's not. Oh my gosh, are you telling me I'm gonna have to type this out? We're gonna have to decode this next. Oh goodness, okay, it's still taking me somewhere as well. And we're back in dress to impress. Wait, I think we completed the game. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait, see, when you do that game in the maze, you unlock the scary dress and you get money. Wait, that's so cool. Okay, that is pretty much everything going on with Lana. We completed that game, that took a turn, but obviously you saw at the end, this kind of code comes up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sit and type all of this out and try and uncover this because I'm pretty sure it's binary, which is like zeros and ones, and we should be able to get something out of it. So I'm gonna use a random binary to text translator and I'll get back to you guys when I figured out what all of that meant, honestly. I'm assuming there's more to the story like it said. So it's been what feels like years and I have finally managed to write out every single number that was popped up on the screen right into this thing here. So this is all of the binary code that showed up on screen. I'm gonna copy this into the translator. I really hope this is correct otherwise I'll cry. And let's see if this says anything. Oh <gasps> wait, we've got something. You may have finished, finished her trials but the evil still lurks throughout. This is not the end. There will be chaos dot dot dot. Ignore the spelling mistakes. I think I may have like put some numbers in wrong but that's pretty much what they're saying this is not the end. We may have finished the game but there's stuff coming. This is what seems like the beginning of a bunch of dress to impress Lana lore which is so cool and honestly I'm just proud of myself that I managed to write all the numbers out in the correct order enough for us to be able to understand what they're saying in this. Thank goodness it makes somewhat sense I guess but that is pretty much it. That is all of the Lana lore I'm pretty sure so far in the game and I'm very interested to see where this goes. If you enjoyed this video then I will continue to update you on the law and I'll see you all later. I didn't expect this video to be this long to be honest. I seem to have uncovered a rabbit hole but that is it from Detective Glossy. I love you all so much Glossettes. XOXO Glossy Girl.